Hey everyone, Gary Simon of course Setro, and today I just had a real quick video just to do a preview of this app that I found called Lunacy, which is touting itself as being a sketch for Windows. Now, um, if we're looking at this landing page, by the way, which is at icons8.com forward slash Lunacy, we can see that it's free for Windows from which you can also download their site or get it from the Windows Store. So before I hop into the app and actually check it out, I'm looking at this this landing page here, we could see that here's the features that it's touting. You know, you can open and save sketch files. So the purpose of this being is to allow designers who are working on teams, maybe that have Mac or whatever, uh, are able to work on the same projects with sketch files. Now, mind you, if you do have Adobe XD and you're a Windows user um, or experience design, then you can also at this point open up sketch files and experience design at this point is more feature packed than lunacy so you might want to use that instead of lunacy uh, however going on here so you can organize pages of artboards you can draw join align objects use a basic type tool export png and svg and then also you can access css and xaml code by selecting the different layers that you've created and it's not perfect code but that is something that i do i do believe Adobe XD doesn't offer so that's one interesting thing now it is under active development and even they've created this call to action button to send us your bro your sketch files that don't open up correctly in the app so right here coming in the next release this is going to let you know at the time of recording this video it does not have gradients it does not have shadows and effects um, it doesn't have a lot of stuff uh, but if you're watching this at some point in the future they may have already updated this new release and this stuff very necessary stuff for a lot of projects will be or hopefully will be integrated so i down here also there's a comment section in which um, the app developers have been pretty responsive all right so i uh, one thing that was real tell real telling to me is if i do search for proto for prototyping hey is there prototyping no, and at the moment, there are no such plans, to be honest. So this really isn't, a, a, I would say, a legitimate contender for being an actual replacement for Sketch for Windows because Sketch now does have prototyping. And if they don't have plans to include it, then really it's just a tool that will allow people to work with Adobe, or not Adobe, but Sketch files in a Windows environment, but only be able to um, work in the aesthetics of the project, not necessarily the prototyping or anything like that. Okay, so go ahead and download it if you want and you're on Windows and check it out. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me go to new here. Okay, so very similar layout. Um, also, even to Adobe XD in terms of the, the very simple tool bar over here. Um, to create a new document, you know, you can choose from web, iOS, Android, wearable devices. I'm just going to choose iPhone X here. And we have a basic artboard, very similar to XD, as that's where I've come from. I haven't actually used Sketch, so <laughs> that's kind of my baseline comparison. Um, and yeah, when I first tried this, I was looking for that prototype button, but it doesn't exist, and it may not exist for for quite some time. But I'm um, just clicking on this. We still we have uh, the the properties over here. Whenever you select an element or the canvas. Um, Right here, this is what the color picker looks like pretty much universally. And you can see that there is no support um, for gradients. Hopefully that's coming soon. We have our swatches down here, hex code, RGB, alpha. We can control all this stuff and have access to all of our colors. So let's create an actual, I'm not going to create a full project, but I'm just kind of doing this to give a quick demonstration. Get like a hero section up here. Um, when you actually select something that's not the canvas, you do have a, an additional section where you can choose an image to place inside in case you don't want a solid color. So I'm just going to choose something, I don't know, right there looks pretty good. You can add it here as a custom color. All right, so um, looking up here, we have normal. We also have blend modes, which is what that's in reference to. So that's pretty handy. Um, coming out here, let's try the type tool. So I'm just going to left click and drag out a text area. Um, it does remember your previous font selection. That was mine, that Montserrat font I've been using lately. I uh, use a white color here. Now, if you try to center it, 
and then change the size. Yeah, it, it, it gets rid of your, your, your justification. We're just gonna center it there, there we go. All right, and let's do a call to action button just to see how the shape tools work. Uh, if we move it around, we can see we do have alignment tools and helpers like that, which is um, obviously a necessity. All right, how about duplication, control D, there we go. That'll work. Let's put this in here. Now, if you try to scale certain things and hold alt, for instance, it, it doesn't work. Uh, so none of that stuff works yet. I'm just, I assume it will. Um, so I'm just gonna scale this in. And I mean, I assume it will in, in, a, in a nearby future because this is all basic stuff um, that you, you kind of really need. So, so change this to maybe 18. And there you go. Uh, very, 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 very simple. One of the cool things here is uh, we can click on the code section. We could see we can get access to all the properties. And that's why I mentioned earlier, it's not perfect. It's, I mean, it includes a ton of unnecessary stuff for, for um, a lot of reasons, but, but really it has all the basic stuff there that you would want. Uh, we also have this section down here. Um, right here, we can export certain as aspects of it. Also, if we come up to the menu, we can export all images. And up here, across here, uh, this artboard uh, we have, or not, not artboard, but the toolbar, we can we have uh, rulers that we have. We have access to a, a grid alignment over here for horizontal and ver vertical. Um, we also have. Let's come up here. Just select on a few things. We also have up here the ability to group. Uh, your layers, by the way, here's the layers. You can group layers, so if we wanted this type layer here, along with the container, control G will get you into a group. All right, uh, you can ungroup. We can also have a mask here. Let's see about um, actually moving things around. All right, so space bar will allow you to, to pan. Zooming, you hold your control key, and then shift will allow you to um, move it around on a horizontal axis. So this right here will just get you to 100% view. All right, so that's pretty much it uh, at this point. So, you know, obviously going back to the page here, you know, there's a lot of stuff that is coming. But it also, it seems like uh, if you want prototyping, you're probably not going to get that for at least quite a while uh, based on their comments. So look around in the comments, ask your own uh, on this page. They seem pretty responsive once again. Um, for instance, when's the next update? I, I, there was one, they did mention, oh, okay, next week. Usually we release once in two weeks after each sprint. So um, again, they're updating it quickly and it looks like there's a lot of options. So, you know, again, uh, if you do have Adobe XD and, and you pay for that, at this point at least, it makes more sense probably to use Adobe XD as it supports a lot of this stuff down here already. But if you're watching this like, you know, maybe a month or two down the road after this video has been released here on the channel, uh, yeah, check it out and it might be more featured. All right, guys, I'll see you real soon. Uh, Angular 6 is coming out, I don't know, in the next day or two or three, hopefully. Uh, so you can expect new content in that regard. See you guys later.